This is week three of the New York City Half Marathon training. For this week, our goal was 65 miles. There were some hiccups here and there, which might have prevented us from doing those 65 miles. We'll get to that when we get to that. Let's recap the week really quick. Monday was an easy day. Seven miles to the bridge and back, right here to the Beacon Newburgh Bridge. For Tuesday, I took out my good old trusted Sucking Endorphin Speed 1. Um, it's been a while. It had been a while since I wore those. They had 340 miles and I felt good. I did seven miles with five miles at a steady pace. One mile warm up, one mile cool down. The average pace was 727 minutes per, uh, per mile for the whole workout. On Wednesday, I did a double, an easy double, 5k at lunchtime and seven miles in the evening. On Thursday, I did another double. Finally, wearing a t-shirt. Shorts. Let's go. I did 6.5 miles at lunch with four of those being a half marathon pace. And then at night, I did seven miles at an easy pace. The total miles for the day were 13.5 miles. What a difference from lunchtime. It's nice and sunny, 46 degrees. Now it's in the 30s, raining. Hey, rocking that purple. Hey, look, I didn't even notice. This is last year's New York City half marathon uh, shirt. On Friday, here's where things get a little tricky. For this weekend, I went with my daughter to Boston. Uh, I took her to the Nike Boston Volleyball Festival at the Boston Convention Center, which was great and amazing. Had a lot of footage about Boston, but things were gonna be tough because I was there to watch my daughter play volleyball. She had full days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I didn't know how much time I had left to fit in some running. So before we headed there in the morning, I did seven miles at an easy pace. I joined my friend on his run. We went to the park. So actually this was a fun run. We ran so several miles and then in between, we did uh, some pull-ups and push-ups, pull-ups on the monkey bars at the park. So it was a fun run. Now with those seven miles, in order to meet that 65 mile quota that I said to myself i had to run seven miles on saturday and then 13 miles throughout my long run on sunday that was gonna be tough so on saturday i did get those seven miles i had to do them on the treadmill it was a cold day i really wanted to go and run around boston i wanted to go and see uh the finish line of the boston marathon we were about two miles two and a half miles from it so it was perfect to run there but I had my knees the cold day early in the morning i decided to run the treadmill so i ran on the treadmill at the gym, the hotel. It was nice, it felt good. Now with those seven miles on Sunday, I had to run 30 miles, but I had to pack to drive back to New York, check out from the hotel, make sure my daughter and my niece's staff, they had everything ready, then go to the convention center for the last games of the tournament. So I decided not to put any more stress on myself and scrap that run. So those 65 miles that I was supposed to do for the week, Ended up being 52, didn't do the last 13. Missed on the long run for the week. So at the time it felt like a big letdown. But look, now looking back, I mean, it was a solid week. 52 miles with some steady runs, some half marathon pace runs. Not a long run, but it was good. And this only meant I was gonna make it up the following week, right? With that being said, I think that's it for the video. On the next video, I'm gonna tell you about week four, which already happened. We're on week five right now. Some very important workouts happen on that week. Hopefully I'm going to upload that video right after this one. So see you soon, or maybe <laughs> see you in a few minutes.